Shalom. Shalom, my glory on and praises to Yahweh. Ba Shem Yahweh Shai Ba Shem and Chachadash Dawanis. To the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well, peace and salutation, blessing to the Akim. Pushing this word in truth and in sincerity, risking your lives and freedom to do so no more so than ever. I'm your fellow servant, I'm Yadi Mahar, represent the GMS branch in Cleveland. He to feed the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you Negroes, Latinos, Navis, and the Indians. Hey, you people of Negro and Indian descent, as well as the Israelite foreigners that scatter throughout the four corners of from one of the heathens. TV says, Shalom, out of one, Ratchas Abanawa, Ratchas Adisha, Edifan Lesson. All right, and this is breaking news. Rapper Young Dolph reportedly shot, killed in Memphis, Tennessee. And ultimately, the death or the score. Yeah, right. The Heavenly Father settled the score. Because we all remember the situation that happened with Young Doc when he had the bulletproof Young Jock. Or I can call him Young Jock, Young Doc. Young Dolph when he had the bulletproof uh, SUV shot up, sprayed with bullets. And he came out with a song, uh, 100 Shots. Well, what y'all and Dolph fail to realize, there's really the Heavenly Father trying to get his attention when he when he put you through certain situations like this. Those that be the Heavenly Father trying to get your attention, you know? Because the Heavenly Father ain't put us in this captivity to be successful and be celebrities and stars, man. The Heavenly Father put us in this captivity to repent for our sins, right? To turn back into the Heavenly Father, to go back to following the law, such and commandments of the Heavenly Father instead of these heathens. Right? The Heavenly Father want us to um, acknowledge our offense while we're in this condition, man, not try to make a way out of it. And that's what it is, because our people, in the, in, in the, in the, they think that what? Uh, that they make it out of the, the so called hood or the ghetto, right? or the low-income neighborhoods that we predominantly uh, uh, inhabit, they think that they can, you know, all their problems will go away. Well, no, you can't escape the curses. That's what our people fail to realize. You're still an Israelite, and you're still under the curses, no matter how much money you're able to amass from wealth and success in this society, you're still an Israelite under the curses. That's why the Apostle Tahar, he always used. Floyd Mayweather, the example. That's why he flung all that money. That's why, he, but at the end of the day, you're still under the curses. Okay, so yeah, man. Um, yeah, and this this happened. What's today? Wednesday to today. Rapper Young Dolph shot and killed in Memphis. Law enforcement sources confirm. Rapper Young Dolph shot and killed at age 36 in Memphis. Young Dolph, a star of indie rap and the cousin of the late artist Juice World. Yeah, right. And we all seen the video about nepotism, and that's what it is with these with the industry, man. Right? Right. You gotta you you gotta know somebody that knows somebody. You'll never be a mainstream rapper unless you you know, you friends with a a, a A and R rep or you friends with this guy, or you friends with that that guy. No outsiders, man. Okay? You know, so uh, I'm going to just get the, the uh, curses. Right, because the Heavenly Father going to give us all these things, right? Material things, wealth and money and all that. Once we do what? Uh, we acknowledge our offense and turn back into him. And the Heavenly Father destroy this place and establish the kingdom of, of Yahweh Shah Mashiach. So that's when we're going to get the glitz and glamour. That's when we're going to get fame. The Lord said that he was going to give us fame in the land that we was put to shame. And that's what it is with two thirds of our people. They want to be. They want that instant gratification, like the apostles uh, make mention of in the brothers. They want instant gratification. They don't want to, you know. They don't want to have patience, which which patience means to suffer. So, and that's what it is with our people. They don't want to suffer. They tired of suffering. They tired of being on the bottom, right? So I'm gonna get. Um, let me see. This is a. Uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28. Uh, uh, Deuteronomy 28 and verse uh, 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee. Right, so 
Hey, you had the um artist, his name was No Plug. No, no, no. What's this dude's name? No Cap. He had the song called, is it called Maxine? You know, you know, brothers know what I mean. But he said, uh, killers behind me while I'm chasing my dream. Oh, Lord. So the Heavenly Father got these death angels in pursuit of you, Israelites, that think y'all about to make it out of, uh, uh, you know, get out of these curses, man. You, you're not about to escape these curses. And this is the reason why, moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee. Right, because we didn't want to follow the Heavenly Father. We want to follow after the heathens. Which this, the, the, the money and the success and accolades, that's not, that's just an illusion, man. That's just an illusion because that's not real money. We already know the jewelers, they, they, that's why they always are uh, selling you Jake's these diamonds. All right, because they know that the value, you know, the valuation of it is low for real. So they charging these high prices and, you know, uh, Deuteronomy 28. Um, 45, it says, Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee, it shall pursue thee. Right, so these curses are going to chase you down, man. These death angels that the Heavenly Father, you know, they going to, you know. Stop yelling. And overtake thee till thou be destroyed. So that's what it is. The curse is caught up to him, man. You can only, uh, uh, you know, you can only, you uh, of uh, be a be a fugitive for for so from justice for so long, and that's what it is with with uh, with our people too. They're fugitives from justice as well, man. Right along with this red devil, these devils, these Edomites, man. But our people too, right? Eventually, yo, you know, you know, uh, the time gonna catch up with you. It says, because thou hearkenest now to the voice of the Lord, thy power right. So our people don't want to listen to the voice of the Heavenly Father. Which, the voice of the Heavenly Father, he speak through the prophets. Starting with the apostles and the elders, a great millstone. That's the voice of the Heavenly Father. Brothers who pushing this word in truth and sincere, and our people don't want to hear that. Scriptures talk about how they, uh, when a rich man speak, they stall it to the clouds. But when a poor man speak, they say, what fellow is this? That's another reason why, because our people carnal, man. They don't look at the inward appearance. They they don't look at the spirit. They don't try the spirit by the spirit. They the spirit by the spirit. They judge you off your outward appearance. Like the saying, go don't judge a book by its cover. Meaning, because the cover could be looking like something you would never be into. And then when you get into the, to the nitty gritty and go into the book, you know, it's a good book. It's a good storyline. You know, the characters are good. The plot thickens, <laughs> says, it says, uh, because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy power to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded thee, and they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. Right, meaning a period of time. And that period of time is almost up. That time is almost, uh, uh, expired that the heavenly father was going to have these curses on us right because when you jump to Deuteronomy 30th chapter in the seventh verse the scripture talks about the curses coming upon our enemies and all them that hate us so we're in the transition of these curses uh, uh, uh transition from the israelites to negroes latinos native Seminole indians to these edomites so-called white men and other nations and they shall be upon thee for a, I read that slide. It said, verse 47, because, because thou servest not the Lord thy power with joy is right. Our people don't want to serve the Heavenly Father, right? They want they rather serve Satan because the earth is given into the hands of the spiritual demon Satan, and he gave it to who he, want, who he pleased, and he gave it to these Edomites. So in order to get a, uh, a position... In this society or some notoriety, you gotta you gotta do favors for people, man. Right? Favors that you wouldn't normally do man, on a regular basis. But under the um under the um the guise of money and fame, okay, you compromise your integrity. It says 
Because thou serve is not right. Because the Heavenly Father, he has the ability to give us all the things that these rappers lust after, man. The Heavenly Father has the ability to give us wealth. Well, when you read in the book of, uh, when you read in the book of Sirach, I think the 14th chapter or the 11th chapter, talk about the Lord is the one who gets, uh, you know, allows you to get riches and wealth and so on and so forth. So all these things that are people lust after, women, money, fancy clothes, jewelry, it all really belongs to the Heavenly Father. But our people don't want to serve the Heavenly Father. Let me keep going. It says, and with gladness of heart, not not, for the abundance of all things, therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord thy power shall send against thee. And that's what these celebrities have to do. They have to serve the enemy. I, I believe the brothers making mention of the, the black boule, like the gatekeepers to these Edomites, man. Not, not, like, uh, what's his name? In the movie uh, with, with Django, with Jamie Foxx. I forget the dude's name, Stevens. <laughs> no. It says, Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. And that's what they doing, making this uh, type of music that influences the youth and influences our people, right? That's, that's, that shit is satanic. They put in these demonic spirits and they, um, um, they, um, Pushing these demonic spirits on our people, man. You know, because Young Dolph, we know his music was about what? Degrading your people, selling, destroying your people, okay? That's what his music promoted, man, right? It says, what are you doing, man? Damn. Um. Uh, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and the thirst and the nakedness and in one of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee, right? And this devil ultimately destroyed our people because we look at the position that we in now. From even going back during the time of slavery when he put a literal iron, yoke of iron upon our neck, our literal neck, our people have, are completely destroyed in comparison to that time, man, right? Because our people, they're, they're into the, you know, the alphabet community. They're into selling drugs during the time of slavery. And, you know, the 1800s, and our people wasn't selling, no, no. Our people wasn't selling drugs and killing each other on a high uh, rate, you know, killing each other, doing drive-by shootings and shit, man. So our people completely destroyed even now because we, hey, well, the Heavenly Father did what? We discontinued from our heritage. Because, you know, so I ain't going to read none of these articles. I read an article on it already. He was at some store, came in to get some cookies, some type of cookie store, and some car pulled up, started shooting. Stop. So. Hey, you know, with that, I pray this is an edifying lesson. I give all glory and praises to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Chakadash, double honor to the apostles and the elders, the great millstone, we will well, peace and salutation, and blessing. To the eye can push and swear the truth, sincere, shallow one, more, I fly, boy. Abba Snows.